Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Farhan Shazim binti Zulkifli and my metric number is DGD192005. Okay, now I'm going to talk about composition in photography. Okay, what is balanced composition in photography? Balance in photography is observed when an image has subject areas that look balanced throughout the composition. It is achieved by shifting the frame and just using subjects within it so objects tones and colors are of equal visual weight. An image is balanced when subject areas command a viewer attention equally. The first balance is symmetrical balance. Also called formal balance, symmetrical balance is the most common way to photograph an image. In symmetrically balanced photos, both sides of the frame have equal weight may even mirror each other. Subjects are intentionally centered to look perfectly symmetrical when split horizontally or vertically in half. Second balance is asymmetrical balance. Also known as informal balance, it is the most common compositional technique tool in photography and art workshops. Since it requires intentionally placing your subject of center, it's more difficult to achieve but get easier with daily practice. To create asymmetrical balance within the composition in by balancing out your main subject with another, less important subject that contrasts with the former in terms of size, color or general appearance. Color balance. Color balance can be achieved by balancing out a small area of vibrant color with a larger area of neutral or more pastel colors and vice versa. In image above, the rainbow colored abacus bits would have been too heavy on the eyes if it were placed on a colored surface instead of a plain white surface. Tonal balance. In this case, tonal balance is seen in terms of contrast between lighter and darker areas within an image. Like bright colors, darker areas are heavier on the eyes and are best balanced out by bigger lighter areas. These are observed in the photos below, where the foregrounds are darker and are in harmony with the lighter backgrounds. Next balance is conceptual balance. Conceptual balance is the more philosophical type of asymmetrical balance where two subjects complement each other and are different beyond size, shape and form. Conceptual balance is achieved in an image where there are two contrasting textures or meanings behind its subject. In addition to asymmetrical, color and tonal balance conceptual balance is achieved as the building showcase the effect of modernization and industrialization. Next, what is simplicity composition in photography? Simplicity itself can be a powerful compositional. It is often said that less is more. Simplicity often means taking photos with uncomplicated backgrounds that don't distract from the main subject. You can also create a simple composition by zooming in on part of your subject and focusing on a particular detail. We proceed to rule of third composition. The rule of third composition is one of the most frequently used techniques. In this composition, the image frame is divided into nine equal segments and the main subject is positioned near one of the intersection between the lines. The example is first placing subject on intersecting points. These two hibiscus flower growing side by side have been placed on two points where the lines on the three tree grid intersect. The photographer also has included a third flower at the back in the shade of the leaf to bring out depth. The second example is dividing the composition into a six tree ratio. In this image, the sky and clouds, the main subject, take up two thirds of the image and the lake and lens takes up the last third. Dividing the composition in a 6-3 ratio like this helps to create a stable composition. The last example is combining the rule of thirds with the split composition. One composition technique that is often employed together with the rule of thirds, especially in landscape photography, is the split composition. In this technique, the image from is divided vertically or horizontally into two even parts. Doing so makes it easier to create a sense of stability. What is golden ratio? The golden ratio is a composition guide. Some people call it the Fibonacci spiral, golden spiral, fig grid, divine proportion or the golden mean. It helps to lead the viewer through the entire photo. The composition will be more pleasing and balanced for the human eye. What is the fig grid? The figure is another way of considering proportion in photography. 
It looks like the rule of thirds, but you are not dividing the frame into equal thirds. Using this method means that your subject is located a bit more central. This way, your composition will be more unique and draw the viewer's attention quickly to your subject. The final one. Why is the Fibonacci spiral? The Fibonacci or golden spiral is built from a series of squares that are based on the Fibonacci numbers. If you draw arch from opposite corners of each square, you will end up with a curve resembling the shape of a spiral. This is a pattern that appears everywhere in nature and resembles the shell of a nautilus. The curve flows through the frame and leads your eye around the picture. Okay, so this was an example of shape. That's all from me. Thank you for watching.